Hey everybody, welcome to Smitty's Art Explorations Art Instruction Video Series. Uh, this is one of two videos where I'm going to talk about general art supplies and materials you're going to, going to want to have for uh, the instruction videos. Um, so let's start off with watercolors. Here are three basic uh, inexpensive watercolor sets. Okay, Here you have uh, two uh, um, watercolor palette sets Okay, and then you have a watercolor tube set. All right, the nice thing about two paints is one, you get to control the amount of paint you're gonna use. You just squeeze off into the water cup and paint away. And the other is uh, you won't have to deal with uh, possible cross color contamination um, that you would um, possibly experience when you're dealing with the watercolor uh, uh, palette sets, okay? Um, so I'll save you a lot of time and product if you get the tube paints. Next off, um, is Fine Tech uh, Metallic Watercolors. So these go uh, six, six dollars a color, right? Um, <clears throat> the nice thing about these, you get to build your own palettes with these, and they have a wide range of colors beyond what you see here. Okay, um, the metallic watercolor paints do give an awesome effect for certain concepts. All right, um, now here you have a uh, watercolor block sets. Um, these are high end watercolors that uh, professional artists use. Right, uh, they're really expensive, um, but they're well worth the money. All right, um, each block's gonna last you a long time, has really good consistency, and um, gives real deep, rich uh, color hues on the paper, okay? Um, other things you're gonna wanna have is uh, some towels or paper towels, and you wanna get yourself some mixing cups or dishes, all right, to mix the paint with the water. Uh, watercolor paper is all different sizes and uh, qualities, okay? Um, when you're just starting out, you know, get yourself an inexpensive watercolor paper pad, all right, um, the problem with uh, this type of paper is it's gonna have a tendency to wanna curl in the drying process, all right? So you get yourself a roll of uh, artist uh, masking tape. Um, it won't damage the paper, all right? But I'll explain how to, use, how to um, adhere it to uh, an artboard um, um, in the instruction video. If you wanna get yourself something that's more expensive, um, you get yourself a watercolor paper book, okay? Um, this book is a little more than $50. Right, um, it's hard cover. Um, it's a heavy stock, uh, rough textured paper, but that it gives a nice effect with watercolor paint, um, and you won't have to deal with the curling. All right, plus it being in a book, it's going to protect your artwork. Okay, um, something else you can get um, is a watercolor grounding paint. This is a um, a prep paint that you lay on the uh, brush on the paper, right, <clears throat> um, and it helps uh, for the vibrancy of the the color. So um, you brush this on, let it dry, and then you start painting away. It comes in a white and black. I use the black for the fine tech watercolors, um, so that way the metallic sheen really pops off the page. Okay, uh, let's talk about brushes. So if you're gonna do both acrylic and watercolors and you're just starting off, go ahead and just get yourself an inexpensive uh, acrylic uh, brush set, okay, to start off with. Um, if you're just gonna do watercolors, then just get yourself uh, watercolor brushes. And you can get expensive or inexpensive, it's completely up to you, all right? Expensive brushes will last longer, you know, um, but inexpensive ones, if, you know, painting just something you're gonna do from time to time, you know, it's it's uh, it's gonna save you money. And, um, you know, it's it's uh, um, not worth really spending the extra dollars, you know, if it's not something you're gonna do consistently. So, <clears throat> uh, expensive brushes, um, better quality bristles, um, they're gonna hold their form a lot longer, right? And also they won't shed off when you're painting. Um, inexpensive brushes, they're gonna start losing their form. You can see this is curling, right? And also um, the bristles will start shedding off when you're painting, right? Um, so, you know, in terms of uh, uh, long-term use, you know, if that's what you're going for, you might wanna spend a few dollars more, okay, for the brush. Um, Types of brushes, you have flat wash brushes. Um, these are flat brushes, all right? <clears throat> Here you have angle brushes, round tip brushes, fan brushes, and then liner fine point brushes, all right? And I'll explain in the instruction videos uh, what you can use each brush for. Uh, basically, you want to probably get a couple different sizes of each, you know, one for large areas and then one for smaller areas, all right? <clears throat> um, something else, you can have multiple of the same brush you know, especially with watercolors, so that way you don't have to clean the uh, brush every time you're gonna transfer colors, okay? And you don't have to worry about uh, color cross-contamination in the water cups, all right? Um, palette knives, you can get yourself uh, inexpensive plastic ones or um, the metal ones, which are more durable and just a little more money, okay? Um, <clears throat> here you have a, a long, flat palette knife, 
right? Here you have an angled carving palette knife, and then here you have a rounded tip uh, short uh, palette knife, okay? Um, also, if you got an old toothbrush, um, you can put that in your inventory. I got a couple of uh, neat techniques I can show you with that as well. <clears throat> okay, let's go over to illustration supplies, right? Um, for pencils, Stettler Blues. Um, in my experience, they are the best uh, pencils out there for the money. Okay, they're durable. You can drop it on the floor and the lead inside won't break, uh, which means when you're sharpening it, the tips, you know, won't break off in the sharpener. Okay, um, you can get a nice, consistent, fine point. Um, this is a 19 pencil set. If you got yourself a six or eight pencil set, that'll be just fine for uh, what we're going to be um, um, explaining in the instruction video. Okay, um, and here you see the label uh, from uh, softness here to hardness, okay, in terms of the lead. <clears throat> um, and that will have to deal with the, the shading and tones on your illustration. Sharpness, you can get a basic, uh, inexpensive one. Um, I prefer having a, one that's a few dollars more, the metal one here. One that's consistent, fine uh, tip point. And then also the uh, razor's edge stays sharper longer. Okay. Um, erases. You can get yourself, you know, some inexpensive block racer, eraser stick. Um, these are problematic in that if you make a mistake, they don't necessarily pull off all the graphite and also they can damage the paper because people generally, uh, try and over rub, you know, trying to get the excess graphite off. All right. Um, I prefer, um, the tough stuff, um, eraser sticks. They're a softer eraser, right? And you can just get the applicator tool. Okay. And it's going to pull off most, if not all of the graphite and it's not going to damage your paper. Okay. Um, Get yourself just an inexpensive bristle brush uh, so you can brush off your eraser shavings. You don't want to use your hands because um, that's just going to end up smudging your, the graphite and ruining your artwork. All right. Um, when you really get involved with illustrating and uh, you're going to be doing photo reference realism, um, get yourself a magnifying lens, okay, or a focal lens. All right. Uh, what this does is this one here focuses down to the very uh, pixels on, uh, on a photo reference. Um, and that way I can get real finite details in my rendering okay in terms of um illustrative paper i just always go for a standard uh black cover bound um illustration book right it's got really good quality paper lots of pages in it they go for about 12 dollars well worth the money uh, this thing will last you a long time um protects your artwork you know the pages don't uh, tear out um if you want to get a uh, illustration uh, pad that's a lot bigger, you know, you can pull the sheets off. That's completely up to you, you know, whatever your preference is. Um, just make sure you're getting good quality paper, all right, because that'll have the best effect with the uh, graphite. All right, so that's it for um, the general art supplies for illustrating and for watercoloring. You know, if you already got uh, paints, you know, use what you got and everything. If you have any questions, just message me and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, just one quick note, <clears throat> um, just because, uh, uh, art supplies are more expensive doesn't necessarily mean that they're better quality. You know, there's a lot of knockoff companies out there, right? So be sure if you're going to spend more money that, um, you, uh, uh, do reference checks on the brands. Okay. And, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in and, um, we'll see you on the next video.